For those of you interested in the Fusion 360 part of this, I uh, basically did uh, two point rectangle, selected this surface, clicked in the at zeros there, made it one inches, uh, one inch there, made it five point two there, and I right clicked here, cl selected press pull, went down in the negative one point nine eight five these are the exact dimensions from the soft jaws they're not exactly one by two by five all right and that gives me the soft jaw I will, I will uh, go to sketch offset I will select this face I will take this lower edge right here I will unchain the selection so I can select just this bottom edge offset that up I went a hundred thousandths point one zero zero oh sorry wrong direction Sketch, offset. It's a negative point one zero zero. Enter. Do that again. Repeat offset. Negative point two zero. Enter. All right. That gives me my two steps. I'll go on an angle here and I'll select press pull. This one is going to go down 150 thousandths minus 0 0.150. Enter and then go back to the sketch and turn sketch 2 back on. Right click, press pull select that point drag that down minus point zero five zero enter and then I'll turn the sketch off and that's it for drawing it pretty simple okay the next thing I'm gonna do is the cam so I'm gonna go to cam and I'm going to go to setup stock I'm going to leave relative box size but there's not going to be any stock offset and I'm going to go to setup origin is going to be model origin since I'm going to be setting my zeros right there I got Z going up, X and Y, so that's all correct. So the stock, the setup, and that's it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is a 2D contour. I tried doing this as a 3D adaptive, but for some reason it wasn't going down far enough. Uh, on this lower step right here, I even had my I had my bottom set down here, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that. So I'm going to just do this. Oh, when I have uh, it's like I have something turned on still. Uh, cancel. Go to model. Oh, the two sketches are still on. Okay. All right, go back to cam. All right, so I'm gonna go 2D, 
2D contour. I'm going to be running this at 5,000 RPM at, I'm going to go pretty conservative, just going to go 14 inches a minute. That's actually per G Wizard, that's like finish, but uh, so 14, let's put these at, uh, I usually just put these at set, I'm not actually not even going to be using these because of the way it's coming in, but um, I just put these at half of the cutting feed rate. All right, select my geometry, I'm going to select this bottom line here, and on my heights, I usually just like to select the surfaces. Uh, so selection, the bottom is going to be here, and the top is going to be here, and on passes, I'm going to do this multiple depths at 0 0.048. I'm going to do basically, it's going to end up being three steps plus a, a finish afterwards. So multiple depths. I'm going to leave stock on both the radio, which is the wall, and the floor. But the stock I'm going to leave is ten thousandths. And I'll leave it as climb milling. The linking isn't really that important since I'm coming out from here and that looks good I oh, forgot a tool I'm going to use tool 21 I have to go back and double check my feeds and speeds yeah forgot to select the tool um, go back and put this at 14 Seven, seven, seven. All right. That should give me three, one, two, three passes. Now I'm going to right-click on this and duplicate. I'm going to call this bottom rough. I'm going to call this top rough and I'm going to edit that that'll have all my feeds and speeds and stuff in there the geometry I will delete that and click this line instead and my heights the bottom face will be here and my top face is still right there so that's good my passes uh, I'm just gonna leave it at 48 thousandths um, it'll just make one pass so I'll just leave it like that still climb milling um, actually I can just uncheck multiple depths um, but I'm leaving uh, 10 thousandths and linking still don't need click OK alright that looks good now I'm going to go to 2D contour and this time I'm going, I'm going to change my feeds and speeds to 7 I'm going to just keep it at 5,000, put it at 7, go 4, 4, 4, 4. Select my geometry. Select the bottom there. The heights. The bottom is going to be here. And the top is going to be here. I guess that doesn't really matter since it's a 2D contour, but um, passes, uh, 
not multiple depths and not leaving any stock. So basically finish, still linking, don't need anything in there. Click OK. This is going to be bottom finish. Bottom finish. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate that and rename this to top finish. Top finish. And the only thing I need to edit in here is the geometry. Change that to here. Uh, feeds and speeds still look good. Geometry, heights, the bottom face is going to be here instead. Top face is still there. Passes looks good. Linking still don't need. Click OK. Right now I will uh, do a simulate on this. I'll look at it from the right here so I can see it straight on. Press play. Oh, you can't really see it from the edge there that it's actually going. That's the end of roughing for the bottom one. Now it's going to do the roughing for the top. Now it's going to come back and do the finish. For the bottom and then the finish for the top. And it's all done. Comes in at 4 minutes 30 seconds. Pretty conservative, but you know, I'm just doing a couple of them, 4 minutes a piece. Uh, not a big deal. Alright.